What's up YouTube? Just going to be changing out the boot on the YXZ 1000 today. And see if I get down in here. It is all greasy because that boot slipped off. I don't think it ripped. At least I don't. Well, maybe it did rip. I don't know. But that, that boot came off. And as you can see there's grease everywhere. I have no idea when it happened. And um, I need to get it fixed. You know, it's it's not something you can just leave like that. You gotta keep all that dirt and rock out of there. Uh, keep that grease clean in there so it'll last. So that's priority number one today is uh, clean out the grease and replace with fresh grease and a new boot. And to do that, I've got uh, one of these all balls, uh, easy boots. Uh, all balls easy boot universal CV boot the cool thing about the CV boot the cool thing about the all balls easy boot is it comes with this little cone and I'll show you what this little cone is for later um, and exactly how it's used but basically this allows you to slip the end over uh, the axle without having to take it all apart so you can put this over it uh, stretch the boot over the outside of that and then this goes over and saves you some time. So I'm going to show you guys how that works. Um, I'm going to install the new boot and some clamps and some grease and uh, get this all fixed up. So the all balls, so the all balls easy trail boot comes with the cone, some clamps, the new boot, some lube for stretching the boot over the cone, and some grease to put inside to replace the grease that's dirty. So I'm just looking at this before I take it apart. Um, I went ahead and pulled uh, the top bolt out here and I'm getting ready to pull the bottom one out. And then the outside piece can pull out and slide off the end of the axle. And then I can go ahead and uh, slip the new boot on over, over the end there. But uh, you can see the way that this works, it's kind of nice that even with the boot off, it did keep, it looks like it kept most of the dirt out of the inside of the wheel bearing down in there, which is nice. So as long as I'm careful as I'm taking this off, before I unbolted it, that piece there, uh, that lower piece, um, this outer seal here was flush up against that and there was no dirt inside, thankfully. So 
Um, we'll just have to basically clean off this, uh, put the new boot on, clean off all this residual oil that flung everywhere, it's mixed with grease and dirt and everything else now. Clean all that up, put the new boot on, uh, pack some fresh grease in there and uh, put this all back together. So this is the part where the easy cone should come in handy. Uh, normally I guess you would have to take this whole outer part off and uh, you know try and get the new boot on over that. But the easy boot, you use this cone, uh, you stretch, stretch the new boot on uh, facing this way with the small end forward towards the wide end. Uh, so you're going to put this on here after we lube it up, stretch it all the way over, and then with the boot on this, slide this over this and then the boot goes on there. So really pretty simple actually. It's a pretty ingenious little little cone method and it's nice that they, you know, they have these that are expandable enough to uh, fit on over the axle like we need it to. So I'm just gonna compare the old one to the new one and see, um, since this is a universal one, I can see it's made to fit different sizes and uh, you can see that um, the new boot is perhaps a little bit longer than the old one was. So I'm going to double check that before I put it on there. Just going to double check. It looks like the old one's about the same size as the new one, so I don't think I'll need to trim this one at all. Yeah. <laughs> 